Hello everyone. The next game I'm going to show you is my Minesweeper clone. I finished this game uh, in uh, 2018, at the end of 2018. And uh, here is uh, the source files. So it is a main.py, a board.py and a player.py. If you download uh, this game or these sources, you need to run the main.py. And of course, I'm going to add uh, this repo, link to this repo uh, in the video, de video description. So now, let me show you the game. Of, uh, the game it, uh, uses Pygame as its graphics backend and also for the input event handling. So, and now I'm going to show you the game itself. So, the game has a 30 by 30 grid and it has some UI elements uh, like these uh, lives remaining. You have five lives at the start of the game and you can also mark a mine with the right mouse button and for for just a little bit of cheating I also added this press B to show the mine so if you press the B it shows all the randomly generated mines. And uh, now I'm going to just lose the game so that you can see the losing state. So I'm just going to, as you can, just going to click on five mines. And as you can see, uh, now I clicked on the mine and it says lives remaining is only four. So, and now it is three and two, and one, and zero. So now it prints game over and press space to restart. So after restarting the game, you have five lives and the mines are randomly regenerated in random positions. Okay, now let's try to win the game. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going just to randomly pick a cell, let's say this one, and it says one, because in the neighboring cells, so these eight cells, one has a mine. Which one, I don't know, so I'm just going to click, let's say here, and yes, okay, uh, so it, this was the starting cell, and probably this cell to the uh, northeast has a mine. So this one I'm going to mark it with, with, uh, with uh, the right mouse button. And what happened when I clicked on this cell, it's, it, it is um, recursively or recursively just unhides all the cells all the free cells when when you click on a cell uh, where which has no mines in the neighbors so I clicked on this cell and as you can see the neighboring cells has no mines so that's why it just uncovered all these these free um, cells and Yes, I know that in this place is also a mine because you can see that next to this cell should be one mine and only cell which is not visible is this one. So I'm going to click on this and I know that in this cell is also a mine. So here is a mine, here is also a mine, here is a free and here is also a mine. This is a free cell, here is a mine and here is a mine and this is a free cell and here is also a mine and this should be free so now i'm just going to off screen finish the game and i'm just going to show you the winning state of the game okay i'm almost at the end of the game i only lost uh, one life so here i clicked on a mine so this is the only uh, cells, these are the only cells remaining. So I know that 
next to this cell is one mine, so it should be here. And next to this cell is one mine, which should, which should be here. So this cell should be free, and also this cell should be free. Uh, here should be a mine, so I'm going to click here and uh, this cell and this cell is R freeze and here says that one mine and one mine it has here so this should be free this sh should be should have a mine and uh, this should be free and let me see this should be a free place and this would be should be also a free and this uh, here it says two this uh, cell so one is here and the second should be here so all the others should be free to click and here also and here also and yes somewhere here this is free and this has two mines this also two mines so one is here so the second should be here and this has three mines so one two three so this should be free i mean free uh, cell mine free and uh, let me see so this has a one and here is one mine so this probably should be a free place or a free cell and this should have a mine and this should be a free cell and yes okay now it prints you win and press space to restart so okay so this is my minesweeper clone if you never played minesweeper I strongly recommend you to play, to try it out. You can find all sorts of Minesweeper clones online or just download and try out mine uh, version or mine clone. So now when I press a space key, it just uh, clears the, the grid and just randomly re regenerates all the mines. And now a few words about the code. So if you if you want to download, make sure you are running the main.py, and as, as and as I said, it uses Pygame. So here I'm setting the position of the Pygame window. Here I'm setting its width and height, so 1200 by 900. And here is a caption uh, on or the window title Minesweeper. And here I just created some enumerations for simple states. So it has a running state, a game over state, and a winning state. And in the main game loop, here I'm checking for the mouse buttons and for the space key uh, event. And here, so yeah, here uh, I'm checking for the states. If it if it is game over, then just draw the game over uh, to the screen and uh, also press space to restart and if the state is states win then just uh, draw the you win and also the press space to restart and here I'm drawing the lives remaining uh, right mouse button to mark a mine and also press B to show mines and uh, let's go to the board which should I should name it grid and it has a cell object so each of these cells is a cell class or a cell object. And I have a grid and the grid holds all the cells. So the 30 by 30 uh, grid of cells. And here just uh, here is a search function and it, it is the function which just does the recursive searching on the grid and just uh, download the code and if you want just uh, make some try it out and uh, just reverse engineer it if you want uh, i have this uh, this thing that i just uh, 
don't like to comment <laughs> because I'm lazy to comment. Here I added only one comment to the whole code, but mm, and I also have a player uh, module which has a player class and also some uh, statics stati stats uh, class. <laughs>